Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 3 of this SS United States tutorial. Today's focus is the ship's stern, well, stern superstructure details and three decks of the ship's superstructure, as well as the uh, forecastle shear on the front here as well. So, what we're going to do first is head to the very back end of the ship and we'll start by cutting holes in the white superstructure, which uh, I did sort of kind of explain in the past, uh, the previous video. I can't remember if I did actually, but uh, not to worry. So what we're going to do, we're going to go right to the back end and what we're going to do is cut some holes in the side. So what we're, going, what we're going to do, we'll go to the, if we look from the side of the ship, what we're going to do is cut a, cut a hole in. If we look at the prototype over there, you can't, well, you can't really see it, but there's an opening on the, uh, uh, sort of an open promenade. So we're going to cut that open. What we need to do is look at it from the side. So looking directly at the side of the white superstructure here at the stern. And what we're going to do, we're going to go right to the very back end here. So looking sideways on, and one block up from the bottom of the white. So leave that white block there and go to the next one up. And what we're going to do is cut a gap of 10. So we'll cut one there. So that's one section done there. So that's one, and then two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So there's 10 cut in there like that. So do the same the other side. So don't worry about the, the pillars there, they'll be removed in a minute, but we'll just do the same the other side. So do from here, we we'll do the same. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 cut there like that as well. And then the stuff on the back, the pillar here can be removed and the white blocks in the middle here can be removed as well. So basically you've got a big open cut like that. So it should look something like that. And then on the side, go back to the side again, to the block uh, this block here at the end of the uh, the side, basically the eleventh block along the side. And what we're going to do then is leave a gap, or or leave, yeah, leave a gap of twelve. So we count twelve. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then after that twelve, you're going to cut a gap of twenty-seven. So we we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So there's a gap of 27 there like that. So you do the same on the other side. So you've got the same gap on the other side of 27. So it look something like that. And then after that gap of 27, you're going to leave another 12 block gap. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And on the 13th block, we'll cut another 27. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So there we are. There's another 27 cut there. So it should, on the side, look something like that. So it gives you a rough idea of what we're trying to achieve. So that's how it should look on both sides. So you do the same the other side. What I'll do, I'll quickly uh, copy and paste this to the other side so we get both sides out of the way. And then we'll have all the uh, gaps all cut open. So that's, that's the theory, anyway. So let's quickly uh, copy and then flip to the right and then paste and there we go there's the gaps on both sides so you've got the, the gaps all the way around that is fine that's how it should look and what we're trying to achieve look at the prototype here i've not really done it justice so we look over you can see the the back cut there just there where the the crosshairs are so that's that one there and the other two will be here so there's one there 27 gap and the other one's there 27 gap and you've got the inside walls so what we need to do now is go back to our build and we need to add the deck, which is all in green. Yeah, so what we're going to do is go to the uh, go on the inside now, and from the top of the black, on the, at the very back here, so at the very back of the ship again, go from the top of the black and add the first deck. Now this deck is going to go all the way to the front of the ship, so it's going to take a little while to do. So I'll do the first few sections and then I'll use the fill tool. But uh, just build it all the way forward, and then when we add, you know, there's, there's meant to be a shear, but don't worry about the shear just yet because we can you can cut that off and uh, re re sort that out later on. But build the deck all the way forward, nonetheless, and then uh, we can sort it out. So there's the first few sections. You can see the green deck there. This is green concrete, so it it looks 
like snot, but you know, it's, it's the stuff that we've got to use. So I should use the fill tool. I shall stand here and fill the rest of the deck in. So we use fill uh, 251 13 by 30,000. And that should fill in the whole deck. So this may take a while, so bear with me. Okay, so there's the deck all filled in. It took a little while longer than uh, expected. It did crash the game slightly, but there we go. There's the deck all filled in, and that does go all the way to the front of the ship. All right, so what we're going to do now is to start building the inside wall. So we'll go back on the inside again to the uh, very centre of the well, the deck, basically. So at the end of the deck here, at the back of the ship, this white section here, and we're going to count forward on the green here. Uh, to the tenth block forward. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's a tenth block forward. So I put a centre block there, coloured one. And then what we want to do is build the wall uh, eleven wide. So that is uh, five, five either side. So one, two, three, four, five that way, and one, two, three, four, five that way. So there's our middle wall there. And then for the sides, uh, I'll do the left side first. For the sides, we want to build forward. Uh, two, one, two, and then three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, and then eight again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's 16 there, and then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there we go, that sort of curves from the center all the way out like so. And then what you want to do is build outwards at the end of that 5. Six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So it goes from the centre at the back, and sort of curves forward and outwards, and then finally goes six out like that. And then what we want to do is do the same the other side, that same design all the way up to the other side there, and then you increase the height of these walls uh, to four blocks high. So I'll do one side, then I'll copy it to the other side. So I just build it all the way to four blocks high. So that's that's two, three, four, like that. And we we'll do the same all the way around. It's going to take a little while because. Uh, this is me doing it. So anyway, we'll just do these four blocks high all the way around. I'll probably do a jump cut because it's going to take forever. Uh, I'll use set quartz for it. So set quartz. And then same again. Set quartz. And then set quartz again. And then set quartz again. And then again, I say it does take a little while to do when you're doing it freehand, but I'll try and do it as much as I can freehand. So there's the first few dead, anyway. You can see it's curving outwards, it's four high all the way around, like I said. And then just all the way across to the centre. It's up to the centre block there, like so. It's four highs. You do the same the other side, so it's the same design on both sides. So what I shall do, I do a quick copy paste to get both sides out of the way. And I really could have done this first, but there you go. So just do the other side. So it's the same design, like I say. Remember everything either side of the centre block is symmetrical, so we do copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, there's both sides done. So, like I say, everything that's on the left of the centre line is the same on the right, so it's symmetrical. So there we go, there's the inside walls done like that. And uh, that is how it should look. And then what you want to do, if you want to, you don't have to do this now, but you can if you want to. You can start adding the doors and windows to these inside walls. Uh, so I shall get my door first. Where's my door? My door's there. And what I'll do is start putting doors and windows in these walls and things. Let's cross the back there like so. Now these doors are not accurately placed, they're just sort of placed at random, but you know it's what, what I've got to, what I can use really. Uh, so what I normally do, I only do about four or five, no, about six or seven doors with a two block gap and then sort of add a pair of, no, six or seven windows, sorry, and then add a pair of doors. 
That's what I'm trying to explain. So that's uh, the first few there. And like I said, so there's the first few. You get, get an idea of what I'm trying to do. So you do, do the windows all the way along till you get to the end. And then do the same on the other side. But I'll, I'll finish that off later on because it's not really an important job just now. But uh, that's that done anyway. So what we want to do now is for me to read my notes. Uh, is to add the next deck. So we we'll go back to the back end of the uh, the ship again, and what we're going to do is go from the top of the white here at the very back end, and add the deck from there as well. So it's uh, a fairly simple thing to do. So once again, this deck goes from the back end here all the way to the front, and the deck will sit on top of these inside walls like so. So once again, I'll do the uh, do the first few. And then uh, we'll uh, do the fill tool again. So we should use the fill tool. So we do fill uh, 251 by 13 by 3000. And that should fill in the whole lot. So this may take a little while, so bear with me. Right, there we go. There's the deck added. That uh, was quicker than I expected. But anyway, that's the deck filled. And it should look something like that now. So we've got two decks on the ship's superstructure. And it don't look too bad. So you can see now the inside walls here, on the inside here, are now covered, which is how it should be. And it don't look too bad. There will be more detail added to these later on, you know, pillars and things, but uh, it's not a big deal just yet. I'm just going to get down to the front end to make sure the deck has filled in a full distance. And by the looks of it, it has. So that's that. So what we, what we do now is go back again and work out what to do. So I need to read my notes, so bear with me. And we'll see. So hang on a moment. Right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to go back to the left-hand side, because well, it doesn't matter which side you work on, but the left is what I normally do. So what we're going to do now is go from the side walls now. So we're on the next deck up, so they've got this side wall here, where it goes up one, two, and then up two there. What we do then is go to the next wall forward, which is this longer section here, and we go to the one, two, three, yeah, third block down from the top, and what we're going to do is count to... The eighth forward, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, and then the ninth, sorry, the ninth forward, and then we're going to cut a gap of 27 again. So it's, it's another open promenade, so we'll cut another gap of 27. So that's one there. Let me just check to make sure it's the right height. If it is, that's fine. So it's, that's number one, so we want 27. So that's one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So it's 27 there like so. So you've got that gap there like that, just above the other one. So I should quickly copy this to the other side, otherwise I'll be here all day. So I should go to uh, there and then go to the centre block. So I don't know where I am, so I need to go to the centre block here at the back. And uh, copy it to the other side. So bear with me a second. So I do copy, flip, and then paste. And there we go. There's the gap on the other side. So I just want to do that. So there's our gap filled in. And then what we want to do is go to the back of the ship again, where we've just come from. Um, and then on the green, so we go on the top deck here on the green, we're going to count to the 47th block forward. So that's 47 forward, so we go from the green centre block and count 47. So I, I use the, the axe to uh, count, so that's 20, 30, 40, and then 47, which is there. And on the 47th, we'll add a red block to mark the centre, like so. And then what we want to do is build our walls. So these walls are uh, 29 wide. So what's half of 29? That's... Uh, 14 either side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 that way, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 that way, so there we are, there's our 14 by 14 wide wall, and then the sides we want to go uh, 14 forward, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 forward like that, then we go out 2, 1, 2. And then we go forward 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we want 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then we want 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
and then out five. One, two, three, four, five, like that. So that's that section there. I'll quickly copy this to the other side so you get an idea on where they go. So it's the same on both sides. Next so we'll do once again we'll do copy, flip, and then paste. And there we go, there's the walls on both sides, like that, so it should be shaped like that. And then what you do, as before, uh, do the uh, increase the height to four blocks high. So I do quickly do that now. So four blocks high, all the way around. And I've got to use the bloody world edit for this. Nah, 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 nah. Where's the set quartz tool? There. And this is going to take a little while, as per usual. This is what I hate about world edit. It does take a little while to do everything, but. Building it freehand takes even longer. Anyway, down to the back end here. And down to the centre there. So there we are, there's half of it increased to four highs. So I quickly do the other side, I just want well, copy it, so I do uh, copy, flip, paste. Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll do that again. I didn't do that properly. So I'm going to go back to over here and then copy to the other side. Yes, not doing things properly really does hurt things, right? So we do copy, flip, paste. There we go, that's both sides done. It should look something like that. Marvellous, so that's that wall done there. And as before, you can start adding the doors or windows to that wall and it will look fine. So what I'm going to do now, quickly look at my notes and work out what to do, so bear with me. And what we want to do then is go back to the centre of the back wall, where we are here, so the back wall here. And on the top of the centre block, which is here, we add a green block. And then we add a centre block, which is there. And we're creating an overhang, so you can see you've got an overhang by one block. And then what we want to do is build this wall, or this line, 29 wide. So basically the same width as the uh, wall below. So just build an overhang of 29, so it's 14 either side, like that. So 29, uh, 14 that way, and then... 14 that way like that and then what we want to do then is uh, try to work out how to do this I think it's the sides we go forward 3 so I'll do the same I'll do the left hand side again so what we want to do is build forward in rows of 3 so we want to build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five rows of 3 forward curving outwards so we go so that's um, 1, 3 and that's 2 3 4 Five, so it's five rows of three like that. So you can see they're curving outwards to the side. And then we want three rows of two. So we go two, two, two like that. And then we want to build outwards three. We go one, two, three like that. And then just in front of that three again. One, two, three. Like so. So you can see it, it curves outwards and then goes straight out like that. And then we want to build three forward. One, two, three like that. And then three again, one, two, three, like that. So it, cur so it goes forward three, three. I think it's that way. I can't remember. Let me just <laughs> double check it because I've not done this very well. I've written it down very well. That's the thing, you see. Um, so quickly look forward. So it was out three, out three, and then forward three. So it's forward three. What did I, what did I write down th two threes for? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We'll go back over again and sort this out because we only want one three forward, okay? We don't want two threes, we want one three. It's just me writing things down wrong, okay? So what we'll do that, we'll go back to where we were and remove that other three. So we've got one three forward and remove that three because we don't need it. So it's yeah, out three, out three, forward three. And then back at the end of that three, we want to go in two. So we go in one, two like that. And then two again, one, two, like that. And then what we want to do now is create an overhang over the side of the ship. So we're going to build forward, uh, forward eight. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. I think that's how it goes. Um, make it nine, I think. Make it nine forward. And then we want uh, seventeen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 
Oh, f hang on, forget this. Hang on, forget this. Forget this. Forget this. Forget this. So that eight there, we want to make that or well, nine. So make it make it eight like it was. So that's eight. I'll just double check it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, which goes to there, which overhangs by one, which is fine, or connects there. So it's sixteen really, and the seventeenth block was already there. And then we want. 20, so on out the side again we have 20, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 is already there, which is that one. And then we want 40, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Like that. And that creates an overhang by one block like you can see there. And you do the same on the other side. So what I'm going to do now is, as where we were building the overhang, we actually created a double up of the in of the uh, wall below here. So you can see we've got a double up here. So what we want to do now is just remove the top line of the inside so that it creates a groove. So just remove all this down to, uh, well, down to the end of the 40 first. Like so, so you've got a line like that which connects up there, and then remove the inside of the 20, which is in there like that, and then the next row like this, remove that, and it should have basically that. Well, you can't really see it, but on the inside, you basically, you've got a groove there now, which should look fine. And then when we add the deck, the deck will sit on this groove like so, and it should look okay. So that is that section there like that. So I'll quickly do the other side because I don't really need to really explain it, but I'll do it again anyway because I did fuck it up a few times. Apologies for swearing. Um, so bear, there again, what we want to do is go from the end of the 29 here. We go forward five rows of three. So we go one, two, three, four, five like that, and then we want three rows of two. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then out three. One, two, three, three again. One, two, three. Forward three, one, two, three, and then inwards two, one, two, and two again, one, two, and then we want forwards eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we want what was it? It was uh, seventeen on that, so we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen's already there. Then we want 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 was already there. And then 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. <laughs> like that. So that's 40 there. And then once again, remove the inside groove because you don't need it. And everything should be hunky diddly dory. Up to that row of eight there. And there we go, that's that section all filled in there. And it don't look too bad. Not at the moment, anyway. So that is that section all filled in there. We're not going to add the deck yet because I've got to do the uh, shear on the forecastle. But uh, that is that section all done there, the stern. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I work out the measurements for the shear and the bow. And then we'll move on. So, uh, back in a moment right okay back again so we're now at the front of the ship and we're going to build the shear on the forecastle which is basically the sloping deck so we're going to go to the top uh, at the front of the ship we're going to the, the top of the white and on the inside here so on the inside the very front of the ship and what we do with the green we'll go one block down from the top so we'll go down one there uh, and then we go and add seven blocks back so one two three four five six seven like that so you've got a line of seven and then underneath that, we want to add 22. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And then we want 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And then we want underneath that 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then after that, you build down one there, and then uh, build all the way across the width. So at the end of the 21, build down one, and then we add, build a line all the way out to the side, like so, and the same the other side, because this is basically the top deck where it will go. So we build all the way across. 
And then from this line, basically just build the deck all the way back. So from this line, the deck will go all the way back to the rest of the ship, you know, from there. So the rest of the deck's forward. From the seven going down, you can see we've got the slant of the deck. And it's not a very good slant as well because we're using concrete blocks and we're not we haven't got any slabs in this colour, so it's a bit of a bit of a shitter on that one, but uh, there, here we go, there we there we go. So what we want to do is from the end of the seven just build out like so. Like that, and then just fill in all the gap around each side of that to create that top section of the deck there like that. And at the end of the uh where is it, the twenty one or whichever it is, we build out again. Like so, and do the same on the other side. And then fill in the gaps again. I'll go up to the front end and fill in the gap under here first. Under there like that. And, and then just fill in the gaps either side. So you've got this section of the deck as well. And what I can do, I can use weld it for this one. So I do the first do this section by hand. And I do the other side using the fill tool, otherwise I'd be a real bloody day doing it. And like I say, it's it's a shame we don't have green slabs for this job to create a more subtle slab, but you know, it's Minecraft, there's limitations to everything. And I haven't updated my version for a long time, so there, maybe there are green slabs, who knows? Quite frankly, who cares? Anyway, that's that section done there, so you do the same on the other side, and do the same with the next row along. So the next row along, which is the 16, you do the same again, so build out either side, and then the same for the next row along. Well, we've done the next row along anyway, so that's no big problem. Um, yeah, we do the same here. So basically, the end of the the end of the um, the twenty or the twenty one. Sorry, build the same again out like that. And then from the block below, you just fill in the deck all the way back to the very back end of the ship. So that is that section there. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll do a jump cut while I fill in all of these sections and as well as that big part of the deck. Um, and then we can move on. Actually, I can do the, de the the main part of the deck on camera. So I can just stand. Here and use the fill tool here. So fill uh, 251 by 13 by 3000, and this should go all the way back in. And then the rest of the deck, the slanty bit, I'll do that uh, off camera because otherwise I'll be here all day. But we shall see. Hopefully, this section of the deck will all fill in fine without <coughs> any problems and all hiccups as well. La, 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 la. Oh, there we go. There's the deck filled in, and there we go. So there's the main body of the deck so it goes along the top of the white along the side there so I just check make sure that goes all the way down to the back end and hopefully that should fill in all the uh, the uh, bridge wings at the back as well so you've got these wings on the back uh, which we built going outwards I'm that black black smudge down there is that under the shadow error I believe it is so there we go there's the deck going all the way down to the back and it looks something like that. So you got the the decks going out to the side like that, and it does look fine. So the deck is all fine. You've got this ridiculous shadow area, which is a real bastard to sort out. I don't know how to fill. Oh, there we go. It's only a temporary fix, but there we go. Let me get rid of this area. Oh, there we go. So there we are. There's the deck all filled in. So that is that section done. I just go to the front end now, and I just fill in the rest of it, the the slant, the 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 sheer. And then we can move on to the uh, the rest of the superstructure for today. So, like I said, I'll just fly over to the front end there. We can see I've not finished yet. So I shall do a jump cut while I finish that, and then we can move on. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've done the uh, shear now, so it should look something like that. So you've got the slant going down in those four sections, and as well as the main deck there. So that's that all done there, and I've also added a colour block to the centre of the last section. So this is the 21 long section, I've put a centre block in the middle there. That's for reference to the next part we're going to do. So what we're going to do now is build the overhang of the white section going down the side of the ship. So from this white uh, red block here in the centre, which is the end of the of the 21, um, we're basically on the, uh, um, the main deck. So on the main deck basically... We're going to count back to the fortieth block. So on the so this is the front of the uh, of the main deck of the flat part. So forty back from the front. So forty all the way back. So I'm just, that's thirty. Oh, hang on, that's forty there. So that's forty blocks back. And then we'll build a coloured centre block there. So you can see forty blocks back on the uh, flat deck, like so. And then what we want to do is build this wall 
uh, 15 wide, so that is uh, 7 either side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that way, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that way, so there we are, there's our front wall, or the beginning of the front wall there, now this will curve round to the outside, and create an overhang down the side, so once again I work on the left, so from the left we want, or well, the same on both sides, so what you want to do is out to the side you want to build 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. I just double check that. So it's three, three, three like that. And then we want two rows of two. So one, two, one, two like that. And then change the direction. We build back two. So back one, two like that. And then we want three. One, two, three. And then four. One, two, three, four. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six like that to the outside. And then after that we want ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that. So you can see it creates an overhang at the side like that. And then from the 10, we want uh, 32. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Like so. so basically the end block of every row Connects to, the, uh, out, connects to the outer edge of the ship. So that was the 32 there, and, and you, you can see the end block connects to the end there like that. And at the end of that 32, you want 30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Once again, it connects to the outside edge there. And then after the 30, we want 32 again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, like that. Once again, the end block connects. You can see the overhang all the way along. And then on the outside edge here, which is the widest part, we're going to build a line of 144 blocks. That's 144 long. So I'll put the first block there and measure as I go along. So that's the first block and I'll, I'll measure it, I won't bother counting it but it's 144 blocks long we want so this will take a while but it's basically it's the end of the outside row here so you don't really need to count it as long as you get to the end of this set area here. So you just build it all the way along. So how far that is 130 1, 2, 3, 4 that 144 that's 144 there as you can see 144 there is at the end of the outside edge here so that's that there and then on the inside after that we want to build a row of 19 so this will double up on top of the line we've already got here so we build 19 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 there like that and that is the end of the overhang on the top section there the overhang is already there now what you will notice is the overhang here is one block higher than the overhang here. So we need to double that up now. So we need to go all the way forward again on the on here, underneath here like that. So you've got an, a double overhang underneath like that. And that is what you want to add. So just add the overhang going all the way along again. And this will go all the way up to those rows of 32 on the side. So just build this 144 all the way underneath again. And everything should look fine, in theory. La 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 la. So how far are we? We're nearly there. Nearly there. So I just build all the way out to the end of this 144, like I keep saying. And there we go. There's the end of the 144 there. And then we do the 32s, the 30, and then we should be done. So just do the 32 here, like that, and then the 30. And then the 32. And then lastly that row of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. And that's all the overhangs done there. So you can see how it looks there. It looks a bit odd, but you know it's a thing. It's, it's what's going to be there. And uh, it don't look too bad. So that's the overhangs done on one side at least. As you can see it's uh, it's doubled in height now. So on the inside, we've still got this groove on the inside here, but if you want to remove this one here and fill it in with green, you can, but it's no big deal because it's going to be on the inside. You can sort of add this later on if you want to. It does look a bit weird at the moment, but like I say, it's not a, a major issue at the moment. So 
I'll add that later on. So I've done one side of this uh, overhang now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the back end. I'm going to copy it and flip it to the other side because it's the same on both sides. So you do the same design what we've just done here, but on the other side. So i will quickly get this out of the way. So I should go from over here and then copy from here. So copy from there and then back to the front end. Copy it, flip it, paste, done. And that would be that little job done for today. So I'm not going to do no more because I really can't be bothered. But uh, what we've got is uh, quite a lot. So all the way forward again. Up to here. And we'll do copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go. That's both sides done. So there's the front curve there. Like that. And then you've got the overhang on the other side here. And it should all look something like that. So that's uh, two sides done of the area done there. And then we've got three decks in. We've got the Foxall's shear added there. And it don't look too bad. So there's the, the full thing when it's done. But uh, what we have here looks pretty good. And that's all I'm going to do for today. The next part, which will be part uh, four, we should go over to the uh, the prototype over here. Part four will be the side windows, uh, the, well, the main superstructure, because we've got the big bulky superstructure to add now, which will be added soon. So the, the front stairs there, the main superstructure here, which will be built up. This is basically what we just built here, the foundations of that. But we'll build that up next. And then the next deck above that would be uh, another set of stairs and all this area in here. The main boat deck and things like that. And then the next deck above that was where the bridge and area things will go. And uh, it's quite a bit to do. So there's lots of superstructure to add, but we're not going to bother doing it today because I can't be bothered. So uh, I'll leave it at that. So what we have so far is good enough. And we can leave it at that. So like I say, part four will be all the things mentioned. And uh, we'll go from there. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I shall return in part four. So uh, bye for now.